South Austin is about to undergo some major construction. We're talking about the notorious Y intersection at 290 and 71. Once completed, drivers can expect a little twist to their normal driving route. Casey James gives us an overlook of the changes. Drivers have been asking for change, and here it comes. Starting this month, the construction of a continuous flow road design will start at the intersection of 290 and William Cannon. The design allows more cars to be in motion at one time, which TxDOT says should improve travel times by 30 to 50 percent. But first, a few trees must be taken out. A sensitive subject for some, but TxDOT says they pick and choose each tree carefully, only taking the ones that must be removed for the driver's safety. Depending on the speed limit, engineers say trees need to be a certain distance from the road to assure the safety of drivers in case they veer off the road. The first phase is on 290 between FM 1826 and Convict Hill and is expected to last 14 months. Utilities are now being moved and the construction is to begin this month or next. During construction, expect only one lane in each direction between 8 p.m. and 5 in the morning. Down the road to the infamous Y intersection, another continuous flow project will start in June, lasting 19 months. Drivers can also expect single lanes between 8 p.m. and 5 a.m. Both projects cost $11 million, with TxDOT picking up most of the tab, Travis County pitching in $1.5 million, and the city of Austin responsible for traffic signals. In South Austin, Casey James, KXAN News. The continuous flow design originated in Mexico. More than 40 have been built in the U.S. in the past decade. Now, this isn't the first project.